welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about light bulbs and the advantages and disadvantages of daylight color temperature bulbs versus normal color temperature bulbs. Hello guys and welcome to our channel. Here we're going to show you how we turned our house into our small family farm. We're going to show you how we accomplished lots of small projects around the house and how you can do them too. Before we get started guys, please consider subscribing to the channel if you like this content. It helps us out a lot and hit that bell icon as well to be notified when we do come out with all of our videos. If you guys remember last week we went through installing some light fixtures in our bathroom here and if you remember we decided to put in daylight color temperature bulbs rather than the normal LED color temperature bulbs. Well, that's for a reason. Before we get into that, we gotta start talking about Kelvin. <laughs> now what's Kelvin? Kelvin is a temperature scale, similar to Celsius or Fahrenheit for the people here in the US. Zero Kelvin though is nothing, like nothing is moving on the molecular level, it's zero. And that's equivalent to like negative 273 Celsius, so really cold. If you think about it like this, 294 Kelvin is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, just to give you an idea of the differences. So with that being said, when you turn on your normal LED bulb or an incandescent bulb, it's gonna produce white light, we all know that. But what you might not know is that it actually produces white light that's equivalent to about 2700 or 3000 degrees Kelvin. And that actually puts it on the bottom end of the visible light spectrum in that yellow or red section, hence why it looks yellow or red. Your daylight LED bulbs though, when they produce white light, it's above 6,000 degrees Kelvin. So it's a little bit more bluish because it's on the top end of that visible light spectrum. So there are advantages and disadvantages to both of these. Your normal LED bulbs that are in that lower 2700 to 3000 degree Kelvin range are great for public areas, break rooms, lounges, things like that, even your entryway in your house. It's great because it produces feelings of, of relaxation. On the other hand, you have your daylight equivalent LED bulb above that 6,000 degree Kelvin mark. This thing has been proven to do lots of different things. Improve your concentration, improve your mood, improve your productivity, and even improve depression and lethargy symptoms. And this was actually proven in a journal article written in Psychology Today by Northwestern University researchers. So it has a lot of advantages. What are the disadvantages? Well, unfortunately not all daylight LED bulbs are the same. The standard for the industry right now is that anything above 6,000 degrees Kelvin for color temperature is considered quote unquote daylight. So that can range anywhere from 6,000 to 6,500. So you can get ranges of that blue temperature. So if you're gonna use bulbs in one room, I'd keep them all the same. The other disadvantage is they can be more expensive. So we bought an eight pack of the daylight LED bulbs and they were about $22. Whereas that same eight pack of LED bulbs in 60 watt also was only 17. So it's a difference of about five bucks for every eight bulbs. Not terrible, but the daylight LED bulbs are more efficient and have been proven to last a lot longer, sometimes upwards of 10,000 hours. So it really depends if you wanna spend a little bit more upfront to make it last that much longer in the long run. So with all that being said, both of these bulbs have their places. I use the normal LED bulbs in things like our entryway, our TV room, dining room, stuff like that. But in our bathroom, I use the daylight color temperature bulbs because that does help me wake up, adjust my circadian rhythm as soon as I get up, and I, I felt like it does make a difference when I get up in the morning. Well, I hope you guys learned just a little bit about LED bulbs and why we use these daylight color temperature bulbs. If you guys like these videos, once again, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Please also hit that bell icon to be notified when we do come out with our new videos. Thanks, guys, and you guys have a good one.